happy Friday. It's going to be a brief one today only because I just got back from hiking. I'm very tired. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to get a subdued, even more so than usual, me doing the challenge. And today, that's what we're doing. Daily challenge. Let's see how we do. Ah, uh, yeah. This is that post um, hike that I feel. Where okay, this is, is real. I don't know if I'll find out where here, but <clears throat> excuse me. It's always funny when hiking mountains. When you look at like. Okay, this one's such a height, and then the, this other one is such a height. But, you know, that does take it, is taken into consideration how hard it is to hike something, but honestly, it's, it's a small, smallish percentage, because the, the big thing really is uh, the trail itself, how steep it is, how rocky it is, how much of it you gotta, like, climb up rocks. Is it really icy, especially this time of year? Um, and this one, this mountain that I did, uh, comparing to the one I did last week, uh, it's definitely shorter by a couple hundred feet. However, I would argue that this one was harder to actually hike just because of how constantly steep it is. Like, uh, if I had to guess as far as ratio of danger mines well no thank you uh what would be mined in israel well a lot of it uh if i had to guess where exactly it could be along the the gaza strip here is there a road that there is a road that goes along i'll just like click here. I don't know if I'm actually going to see, uh, although there are some mountains, kind of. Very old mountains. Hmm. Interesting. They got a road that goes into potential mines. What is this person doing? Now oh, you're just walking with a nice little doggy. Interesting. Seems like you're overdressed for how potentially hot it is out here, but I don't know the temperature it is right now. Although this does seem to have a turn off. Oh, wait. A mere philo soul. That doesn't help. Well, it could. But I don't know what a mere philo soul is. Like, I think I might be in a completely wrong spot. <laughs> But I've, I've stuck with it. No, oh, it wasn't that far off. Right next to... Is this Amir Philosoph? Oh, I can't tell. Taking a sip. Only 56 miles, though. Not that bad. But this hike was rough. Well, that's the third time I've done it. Second time I've done it in the winter. But it's... uh still good. I mean, there, there's always this issue I have, at least with my brain, of <clears throat> being in the middle of the hike, just being like, just turn around. Why are you doing this? This sucks right now. Just stop. You know, you don't have to go to the top, but I have a ritual, at least now. It's, it, it's kind of an accountability thing that um, I always like send photos to people when I'm on the top. I guess just to prove I let people know, hey, I'm hiking. And then I show what I'm hiking. I'm on the top. Just so I've got like a level of, well, I said I was hiking this. I can't turn around now because I need to show that I've done it. None of these signs are really helpful. That sign back there wasn't all that helpful either. Pariwisada. Nariswari. 
trip safe bus. Like, ah, uh, is this like a resort around here? <clears throat> Man, my throat is fighting me here. Agro Budaya, like nothing, Brodo Boodooer, nothing here is really telling me anything. Like, this probably is. What's wrong with these people? Are they fighting? This is maybe India, but I mean, maybe not. Brodo Budur. Like, I feel like I've seen Brodo Budur somewhere. Maybe this is Indonesia. Like, I click there. Maybe I'll, uh, Mas Bangun. Business transport, that is not helpful. Giving him a high five. Man, I don't know how people can wear pants in this weather. In this climate, it is so hot here. Just be constantly sweating. Yeah, this is, I, I don't know. It could be, <clears throat> maybe it's, uh, Philippines, but I mean, I, I don't know. I'm looking for signs. Let's see. Jalan Provinci. Let's see. Jalan. No. Well, I had the country right at least. I'm not seeing a Jalan anywhere. So that doesn't help me. Well, there's Brodo Badur. Assuming that that's actually how it's said. Ah. Uh, Nika. Hmm. Let's see these signs over here. But yeah, I've, I have to, uh, take off a certain amount of days, uh, because of the job I have. Um, oh, we're in Poland. Because of the job I had, they're like, hey, a lot of you people haven't taken days off yet, and you guys got to make sure that you do. I had some, <clears throat> excuse me, I still had some unused days. And I figured that um, Monday's a holiday here in the U.S. And I figured, you know what? I'll take Thursday, Friday off. So I've got a five-day weekend, which is pretty nice. But, you know, there really hasn't been much reason to use any days off. I mean, I've been using it for like doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, things like that. And when it comes around to my turn, I actually get the uh, COVID shot because my mom ended up getting it. She had her second round and it knocked her on her ass by the sounds of it. So there is potential where, hey, maybe I'll need to take a couple of days when I got to get the COVID shot. The first one seems fine. I just said, you know, your arm's a little sore. Ooh, maybe this will tell me. Ron Co. I I don't know if that's gonna be a. I'm just gonna click so I don't get zero points. But we're gonna look for Gron Co. And his food dehydrators. You set it and forget it. <clears throat> Gron Co. There's Gloco, but that's not Gron Co. Gorzao, not that either. But what do I have planned as far as this little vacation? Eh, I gotta, not much. Just kind of relax. Keep trying at uh, Escape from Tarkov. <laughs> Getting a little better at least. I mean, it's just a matter of shooting the gun and getting comfortable with things. Or trying to do certain quests, because, like, you do quests in the game, a lot of them, like, hey, you found a thing, you gotta go get a thing, and then leave with it. And if you don't leave, <clears throat> say, like, you find it, but in the process of finding a place on the map to actually, like, escape, like exfiltrate off of, you get shot and die, well, then you gotta do the quest again. 
And there's one particular one I've been trying a lot to uh, Gronko. Is Gronko even showing up here? There's Gronko. I had to go a long way in to find that. I wasn't going to. I got the country right at least. But this one particular quest I'm trying to do. No dice. I got close last night. Like, I found the thing finally. I was maybe a minute, minute and a half, maybe two minutes. I mean, it was raining out, so it was, I could be quiet. And I was hearing gunfights all around me. That's a cool looking rock. So I figured, you know, what's a safe thing. I'm going <clears> to <throat> skirt around it. And in the process of skirting around them, I'm like, well, this is a coming up to an area where it's a high probability that people are going to be there. And sometimes what happens on these maps is there's these uh, NPC bosses that can potentially spawn sometimes. And I guess this one on this map is a uh, sniper. And he's got a very powerful gun. And I was not expecting him to, like, be where he was. Because I've always figured, oh, they're the boss. They're going to be in the little area. Like, this is kind of a lumberyard, I believe it is. And I figured, okay, I'm going to skirt around it. I hear the gun. It sounds like him. I'll just, was this a sign up here? Or was that just sun reflection? It was sun reflection. All right, I'll skirt around it. And then I just happened to, right in the outskirts, <clears throat> saw him, shot me. I, like, ran and hid. Healed myself up the best I can. And then this guy just came up and... Blew me away. It was so. It's like, oh god damn it! I got to do it again. Pretty sure all the stuff I went in with because I went in with the sole purpose of like, okay, I'm gonna get this thing. But there's a thing in the game where if like, well, I'm just gonna go in with nothing. Um, that the game actually has it where if you go in without like a certain values worth of stuff on you, all the AI in the game will, like, know where you are and actively, like, hunt you down, shoot you. So you can't, like, cheese your way through it. Where the hell is this? There's a sign, finally. <laughs> Puente Los Dados. Is this Mexico? I'm going to get a very bad score on this one. Unless this truck helps me out. Or Nunez. Not helpful. I'm going to say this is <clears throat> Mexico. Maybe like maybe there. Like I'm going to get a terrible score. This is probably like somewhere in Argentina but, or Chile. And I'm, I'm fine with having Oh, actually it wasn't that far off. I'll take that. Not a bad score. Oh, we got one more left. Okay, is that the Burj Khalifa? I believe it is. And this is, uh, yeah, this is a very much, I feel like I've been here before. All right, let's see if I can actually locate it here in Dubai. The Burj Khalifa. Downtown Dubai. There's Burj Khalifa. We're overlooking water, so we're like here, maybe. Or maybe, no, well, let's, let's see. Um, Dean and DeLuca. Is that showing up anywhere? Like, maybe it doesn't exist anymore. Dean and DeLuca, it's over water. Hmm. Let's just kind of look around the for a Dean and DeLuca. You don't say what you are. Convenient. Dubai Fountain, best view. So maybe we're like there. Seafood, very expensive. Cafe, 
not very. And apparently, Lebanese, pretty cheap. Sounds really good. So tired and beat out. Just beat, I should say. Then I'm like, ooh, food sounds good, but I'm too tired to make it. Get off the screen, thank you. I want to take a little walk around. I'll look for um, maybe some other businesses here. This place is always weird to me. Like whenever you think of the places that'll, uh, when humans are gone, this place is getting eaten up super quick by the desert. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm going to get any closer than that, because this is the fountain view, and I believe that's where we are. <clears throat> but I'm not seeing, like, business names here. Man, Lebanese sounds so good right now. Get some claw barbecue. Can I go inside? Like, let me click there. Let me click, like, in buildings. Oh, uh, you're just being a dink. All right, fine. Whatever. Oh, we were 33 yards from it. Well, that's good enough. Not a bad score, though. Every country was correct. Uh, I was only not many points from... 25,000. Brain is just gone. As I said, you know, sorry, this is a quicker one for a Friday, but I'm tired. <sighs> Go in and enjoy your weekend. I'm going to try to as well. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, hints, observations, suggestions, anything of the sorts, go ahead and put them down below. I will read them and get back to you. Come back next week when we do some more geoguessing and other things on the channel. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.